think probably the thing that we learned during 2020 or that we we confirmed maybe we already knew it was that people really flourish and thrive when you give them the freedom and autonomy to do their work in the way that actually accommodates their life um i think the team were hugely resilient in 2020 you know there was a lot of change a lot of transition um, and for some people a lot of responsibility and challenge uh, and competing priorities with their day job But actually, the biggest piece of feedback I had from my team uh, when we did a survey at the end of the year was how much they appreciated the flexibility around their working hours. Um, you know, the fact that maybe you need to start later in the day, maybe you need to work into the evening uh, to accommodate your life. Um, but I, I'd always thought that people would probably be very good if you gave them that level of freedom and an autonomy. Um, and I'm absolutely certain that we did no less good a job last year as a result of that. Um, in fact, actually, all of our metrics, all of our kind of performance benchmarks exceeded our previous year's performance, um, despite all the challenges that 2020 threw at us. So uh, yeah, I guess people are hugely resilient, um, really appreciate being given the scope to do their job well um, and being trusted to do that. So goals for 2021, I mean, top of the priority list is to maintain the mental well-being and resilience of the people in the team. Um, we can't do what we do if we don't have the people doing it you know it's it's obvious but i think a lot of people thought 2021 it's all going to be fine it's all going to be great and actually i think we're still quite a long way off everything being back to what would have been normal before um and it's dark and it's cold and it's challenging right now um particularly in northern ireland we have very short days in the winter uh, so i think looking after each other taking care um making sure that we continue to work as a team and support one another as we need is is really high up the priority list um, and recognizing that actually the return to normality will happen at different times for different people you know some people are much higher up the uh, list for vaccinations than others um, and some people's families are much higher up the list of vaccinations than others so i think you know that's a really big priority because if we don't take care of ourselves and each other um, it'll be difficult to do our our day job um, but in terms of the more kind of conventional goals for the year we we have really ambitious priorities um, Queens is in a very exciting place at the moment we're about to launch our new strategic plan um, the vice chancellor has great great vision great hope for the role that Queens can play as an internationally recognized university that's a champion of economic and social transformation within our region uh, and actually there are some disproportionate effects of COVID on Northern Ireland Um, and we really want to play a part as the advancement team in in making a difference in that space uh, so ambitious fundraising targets um, exciting alumni engagement targets we've got a new commu communications program a new look magazine launching and um, so loads of really good exciting forward-looking stuff uh, which i think the team team can't wait to get their teeth into <laughs>